suspended, hanging midway between nothingness and existence. It was a strange world into which he had been permitted to look. For a great space, he lay in a strange condition, inert and still, neither dead nor living, but as it were suspended, hanging midway between nothingness and existence. His was a darkness unbroken by a ray of thought or sensation, a dreamless inanition, a vast space of peace. The tumult of his mind had swelled and risen to an abrupt climax of silence. He will have much to learn, much to unlearn, if ever an awakening comes. of its countless factors interweaving, rebuilding the dim first stirrings of the soul, the growth and synthesis of the unconscious, until at last we recognize ourselves again. A dim mist of sensation taking shape, a cloudy dreariness recumbent, faint but alive. It was a strange world into which he had been permitted to look. This man from the 
19th century, at last came to his position at the head of that complex society. He saw people going to and fro, along cables and along strange, frail bridges. An impression of overwhelming architecture, curving spaciously in either direction, pale sunbeams that filtered down through the girders and wires. The air was webbed with slender cables, broken by great archings, circular perforations, balconies, buttresses, turret projections, myriads of vast windows, and an intricate scheme of architectural relief. Scrupulous, pleasure-seeking, energetic, subtle. A world, too, of dire economic struggle. Strange suggestions of altered moral ideals. Flashes of dubious enlightenment. Gigantic discontent.
This night is a beginning. This battle that is coming, this battle that rushes upon us tonight, is only a beginning. All your lives it may be, you must fight. Take no thought, though I am beaten, though I am utterly overthrown. I think I may be overthrown. This night is a beginning. 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 So uh, I'm in a bright and dawn, and I'm just seeing the sleeper awakes, uh, the AK, AK BK piece um, in collaboration with a visual artist. But it was an incredible marriage of visuals and music. Uh, it was in incredibly intense, uh, really, really, really powerful. I felt the the setup was uh, was fantastic. It was great to sit there for it to be so clear, for it to be so. Just the intensity, the intensity levels were really, really high, so I felt a lot. And that's what I want from my art, is to feel loads. I feel tonight they made a really political statement, and like I'm not even lying, like, I genuinely, when they finished their set, my heart was beating really fast, because I felt like it was like a, a call to arms. Um, like I've never really seen them do that before. And halfway through the, the set and the animations and the music, I think maybe when they started throwing bottles, <laughs> um, it just kind of clicked. Like it just all fit into place for me. That it was, it was to me, it was about the refugee crisis. It was about people fleeing, and it's about governments not doing enough. And it was about them lying to us. And I felt like it was kind of this like call for collective action, and what we need to do is just challenge that. Um, and that kind of that's what I took from it. The visuals were very, very strongly integrated with the sound, um, which I, I just really appreciated that part of it because it just really felt like the visuals. Made, made me feel the sound more. It was a very, very integrated experience. And uh, I was watching and listening completely equally, I felt like. Um. The integration between the, between the animation and the, the music was fantastic. And it really worked. It's a, a very powerful piece. It was a bit funny because when I was, uh, there was towards the end that I wanted to almost feel the feeling of wanting to dance. So I could see the piece already quite expanded. I could see the piece as, a, as an hour, long, much longer than what I saw. Really. I mean, I could see the pieces in a, in a big space, in a, in a in stage, where the people could just walk around and listen to the music, watch the visuals. So it was a very, very powerful experience. Yeah, I thought it was really exciting. I thought there was also potential there for it to be further developed. It's a new kind of, a new almost kind of uh, experience and form of entertainment. Uh, the music was amazing. I wanted to get up and dance, and uh, I was kind of looking around the theater to see where I could dance. But at the same time, I wanted to listen to the story, and it felt like I was within this kind of um, dance story, really, where like uh, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't using words to express myself. I wasn't, I wasn't sort of watching a movie. I was dancing within a story, within a movie kind of thing. It was really, really cool. Um, at the time of the white dot is when my heart was beating really fast because that was literally when I wanted to like stand up and get everyone to just be like, we're doing it, we've got to like, take action. Um, and the, the bigger it got, I kind of like felt like the, we, were the, we were the dot. We were the dot and like it started off with my beating heart and then like it got bigger and I felt like that just kind of like included everyone in the room and that, that the dot was us.